Welcome to Enviro Close Up. I am Carl Grossman. We're at Solar Fest up in Vermont in the woods with Paul Lisinski. He is the co author of a book called Serious Straw Bale. And in fact, he's speaking up here about building with straw bales. Now, why, Paul, would people want to build with straw bales with all the plywood so available and uh, fiberglass and other modern accoutrements of? Uh, house construction? Well, I guess, Carl, it's a question I've asked myself many times. The, uh, it seems even to me like it's sort of a funny oddball way of building even after all these years. So um, there are good reasons, though. Um, for starters, you get a lot of insulation value. You get these big, thick walls that by the time they're finished, they're insulated probably about twice as well as a standard house with two by sixes and fiberglass bats. Um, Plus the bales are totally biodegradable, so uh, whenever the end of the useful lifespan of the house is, hopefully well in the future, um, the bales can accompany any wood and other materials into a compost pile and go back into the soil. Uh, they're also totally non-toxic, um, so both in the, in the production process and once they're in the house. Um, so for people with any sort of chemical sensitivities and that sort of thing, which is a growing concern, um, they're a perfect material. And also, um, you get these big, fat, beautiful walls, which are a little bit wavy, you know. They're not perfectly flat. They, they don't look like they came out of the back end of a machine. They look like something that was made by people. Um, and I think that more and more that people are uh, sort of just looking for something that's different because so much of our construction nowadays is ruled by uh, sort of what's most efficient economically. You, you can buy materials that are that are processed by machines and therefore save a lot of labor on site and uh, just sort of by the rules of economics things are getting more and more spe specific and narrowed down to where so many houses are looking kind of more or less like the next house which looks like the next house and uh, you know bales aren't perfect they have their drawbacks but they're definitely outside that mold and they make a house that feels different and I think people you know people I think are, are going for that and they're fun you know they're these oddball things. and <laughs> People who might not be familiar with uh, straw bale home construction and maybe kind of think of it sort of like the three little pigs and it's a, a house made of straw which could easily be blown down. Describe the, the construction techniques that go into, well, there's a varied kinds of uh, ways that it can be done, but in general, how you would build with straw bales. Well, um, Generally, the foundation doesn't, usually doesn't vary depending on whether it's a bale house or some sort of a more standard wooden house. Um, and so there's a foundation, there's some sort of floor, be it a wooden floor over a basement or maybe a concrete slab. Um, and then in the Northeast, we generally build some sort of a structure first to hold up the roof. Um, we rarely have the bale and plaster walls supporting the roof, mostly because there's no way to stack up the bales and get a roof on before the whole thing gets rained on and ruined. And tarps don't really work, you know, they always leak. Um, and you don't really need that much wood or concrete or whatever it might be vertically in a house to support a roof. So next we build a structure, put the roof on, frame the windows in place, and then the bales go in, and then the plaster, and the, and the windows, and all of the other finishing details. How do you do it with you? You plaster, you know, plaster the straw bales, do you? We do, straight onto the straw. Um, the surface of the bale is actually quite rough, yeah. and, uh, and the plasters that we use, we tend to use a clay plaster, clay and sand and, and chopped straw for the, for the base coat. It's very sticky, um, and so it adheres very nicely to the bale. And we actually now work with a sprayer, so we can sort of <laughs> shoot the stuff onto the bale, and, uh, and then come back and trowel it out. And um, we haven't really found a need for any sort of wire reinforcing. In fact, um, I sort of feel that putting any sort of wire mesh in there, you end up plastering the mesh instead of plastering the bale. And I really like to have the plaster worked into the straw well so that the whole thing becomes a cohesive system. We should first talk about your book, a uh, wonderful book, Serious Straw Bale, A Home Construction Guide. And I think uh, that subtitle, A Home Construction Guide, to all climates is, is, is important because uh, it shows you that uh, this straw bale um, technique is something that's appropriate 
in Nebraska or in New Mexico or I suppose Florida, though I don't know whether it would be too well accepted in Miami Beach. Uh, serious straw bail. Why do, you, why do you call serious straw bail as opposed to uh, unserious? <laughs> well, the publishers came up with it, and I think it's sort of a, maybe a little bit of a play on the fact that bail construction really seems like a less serious technique than others. You know, you're not using stuff that was all perfectly machined that you go to the lumber yard and sign on the dotted line to buy. You know, you get these big goofy bales, and then you're out there you know, slinging some mud onto them. And, uh, but on the other hand, it's, it's a building technique that really has finally sort of come of age and, and it's kind of no longer a three little pigs joke. We're, we're, we're hopefully beyond that. The book was published by the Sirius Straw Bale, was published or is published by Chelsea Green Publishing. Indeed. Up in Vermont, people can get the book through Chelsea Green. Yes. Uh, how else might they be able to get the book? It's available in quite a lot of bookstores now. I know all bookstores can order it. I think it's also available on the internet. Um, so it's out there. I, I always go in bookstores and look for it, and as often as not, I find it. So. And an earlier book published by Chelsea Green, The Straw Bale House, yes. uh, 100,000 copies published, which yes. is for a, a book, particularly about a, well, some people might regard it as a somewhat obscure <laughs> right. subject. I mean, that's like, like a bestseller. Uh, yeah, to me that's an indication that people really are looking for sort of something different in their shelter than uh, the mainstream houses that are being produced today. I mean, there aren't anywhere near 100,000 bail houses in the U.S., maybe five or 10,000. So that definitely means that there are people out there who are looking for something a little different. Well, thank you so much, Paul, and uh, thank, you. thank you very much for watching, and as well as checking out Green Space Collaboratives, you might want to go to the website of Enviro Video to learn about, uh, well, this and other videos. It's at www.envirovideo.com. I'm Carl Grossman. Thanks for watching.